So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back, man, and we are searching for some weird creatures, things, whatever you want to call them, specimen that they found on the beach. So this video is titled, They Found Weird Creatures on the Beach. I almost said something different, my bad. <laughs> they found weird creatures on the beach, then this happened. All right, so if you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. If you like videos like this, hit that like button. Let's check it out, here we go. From weird creatures injecting liquid on humans to a fish stomach exploding. See right there, you just don't walk up to things and be all investigative and everything and they just spit something out. out. And from some blob-like brainy creatures, we have for you the weirdest creatures and weirdest phenomenon, which when recorded, surprised the whole world. So let's begin. Slimy hagfish. Usually we know eels due to their shocking ability, like literally shocking ability. However, what most people don't know is their ability to produce slime and cause a lot of mess. Like in this situation, when a truck loaded- Y'all just swimming in it like it can't possibly have no long-term effects or something? That's sickos around here. And cause a lot of mess. Like in this situation, when a truck loaded with hundreds of eels on the Portland highway turned upside down and resulted in the nastiest mishap ever. All of the eels exploded all over the highway, releasing immeasurable amounts of slime everywhere. Vehicles were damaged and not to mention, the road took days to get rid of the slime and months to get rid of the smell. Apparently, the eels only release the muck when they feel they are being threatened and being spilled on the road might have felt like a threat to them. An exploding sea worm. This footage of a sea worm literally shows it being exploded out of nowhere. It was going its own way, with the diver recording it for God knows what reason, and then suddenly it just explodes, and there is nothing left of it, as the remains, which are not much, but, well, whatever remains just washes away with the water. And that is how the sad life of the worm came to a tragic end. Rain like blobs. Seeing stuff like that, that makes me just, <laughs> You can call me whatever, bro. That ocean is scary, fam. I don't care. You can say whatever about me. That thing just, just disintegrated. While exploring a park's pond, a guy came across a blobby, brain-like substance which was wriggling in water. At first, they thought it was a human brain there, but thankfully, it wasn't. However, it came out to be no less weird than a brain would have been. It was a rarely seen colony of thousands of tiny organisms. People have also been calling it a blob monster and dragon booger too. Weird secret. So y'all playing around, dragon booger and monster. Y'all playing around, but this this thing is actually real. It could probably do some damage. Creature. This video went viral on the internet a few years back. A sea creature was caught by some people and brought with them somewhere they could film it in the camera. A lot of people think it is real and very creepy. With razor sharp teeth inside the mouth, the overall structure resembles a sea hare. A little bit, I guess. We don't know what the creature was trying to do here, but it sure creeped me out. Let us know what you guys think about it. Pearlfish hiding in a sea cucumber. There are many species of the pearlfish, and they usually survive by living in other creatures. However, the bum of the sea cucumber is quite a weird spot they've chosen as their hiding place. Sea cucumbers breathe through their anuses, rhythmically expanding and contracting their bodies, and this gives pearlfish an easy opportunity to get in and out of them. But one important thing here is that the cucumbers are poisonous, and they hardly hold their own poison from harming them. The pearlfish, on the other hand, have mastered using their mucus to lubricate themselves and stay safe in there. <laughs> Jellyfish in a bubble ring. <laughs> In today's video of animals doing weird things, we present to you this jellyfish. Well, let me assure you, the jellyfish itself is normal. It was just that on its very usual swim of the day, suddenly the world turned upside down. A nauseating ride in a wildly spinning vortex. Thankfully, the jellyfish made it out of the very dangerous ride safely, but with a spinning head. Sea pigs. A kind of sea cucumber, the sea pig is found crawling in Canada. It lives in the deepest, darkest, coldest parts of the ocean, with no eyes, a lot of legs, and a transparent body. 
and unlike many sea creatures, this one's skin is loaded with poison, although it looks pretty cute to me. It's one hell of a weird creature. The Sea Cucumber A sea cucumber is not weird only by looks. It is like, actually, the most weird creature ever. I mean, it can hide a number of pearlfish in its bum, and it doesn't end there. When facing potential predators such as crabs or fishes, it ejects parts of its guts in order to scare and defend against them. It literally vomits the long tendrils of intestines out. It works as a tactic to frighten other predators. Hope y'all wasn't eating. <laughs> hope y'all. Uh, I hope y'all was eating. Ugh. And they regenerate them later. Octopus shoots ink. Just like squids, octopi shoot ink as a means of escaping their prey. And whenever a human is trying to invade their personal space, this is exactly what the octopus is going to do. In this video, you can see someone holding a small octopus. At first, the octopus tries to crawl away, but then it shoots out a lot of black ink, completely freaking out its audience. Clearly, it wasn't digging the celebrity lifestyle with so many eyes on it, as these creatures can be extremely territorial and don't like to be disturbed at all. Now the Treface Jelly. Usually Finally something we're a little bit familiar with. Known by the name of Firework Jelly, it was found 4,000 feet deep under the ocean. When they first saw it, it looked like some underwater fireworks were going on. But on closer inspection, it was found that it was a Halitrephes jellyfish with its incredible purple, orange, and red colors. Everything we've seen so far is starting to make this look normal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Interestingly, this jellyfish remained deep in the ocean, floating and swimming, but humans were not able to detect it due to its transparency. Well, even though it's not that weird, it is totally worthy of being included in our list. Yeah. Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, or cuttles, are highly toxic fish found deep in the ocean. And even though they are rarely encountered by humans, if they do somehow, there is a big chance that the human might end up dead. But well, we're not here to talk about how deadly these creatures are. We'll be discussing how beautifully weird the cuttlefish is. I mean, look at this. It has literally been called the Disco Cuttlefish due to the color and reflection. And this is not the only- Again, it shouldn't be named something that's inviting. Cuttlefish, oh, this cute cuddly. No, it's deadly. Name it a deadly name. Only reason they are amazing, but the way they hypnotize their prey before killing it is also a sight to behold. Weird Anglerfish Mating Anglerfish are a bony fish known for its unique method of preying on other marine creatures. They use a fleshy growth on the fish's head, which is only found on females, to attract other fish. Male anglerfish are significantly smaller than their female counterparts, and they begin looking for mates as soon as they hatch. They spend the most of their early life and efforts on finding a spouse, and once the male had a mate, it latches onto it and never lets go. This process is so extreme and shocking because once the male has latched into the female's tissues, it literally explodes and merges its contents with the female fish. Their blood vessels, as well as other organs, merge into one. The male anglerfish does nothing, while the female counterpart uses her lure to catch food for them both. To summarize this horrifying process, this male gives up all of his internal and external organs in exchange for sustenance. When it's time to mate, the male simply releases its sperm directly into the female's body and continues feeding through her. This picture was taken from a video where two men are seen fishing, and then after a while, they spot a weird creature nearby. They start poking it, and one of them pours some cola on the creature, and that's when the creature ejects a whitish liquid on them. As far as we too want this creature to be real, the bad news is it is not. This clip is taken from a Japanese horror movie named Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> because for sure that was going in the memory bank. And anytime I see something that looked like a, a, what did that look like? What's the, like a grapefruit sitting outside? <laughs> That's what it looked like, a grapefruit. I was definitely going to stay away. Ura Horror from 2008. Snapperfish. Deep water fishes need to be handled with a lot of care, but sometimes, even with care, they end up dying. Like in this video, we see some fishermen catching fish. However, as soon as they caught it, they knew that something was unusual here. Not just the eyes were bulging out, but the stomach seemed to be swelling out of the mouth too. So, why was it like that? Well, the fish was actually exploding inside out. And the reason behind it goes something like this. Wondering what that thing is sticking out of his mouth right here. 
We get a lot of comments on that. That's his stomach. His stomach blew up. Deep water fishes have a swim bladder, like an internal balloon, which gives them the ability to float and swim. But when they're pulled out of the water, the balloon starts to expand as water pressure reduces, and under a few minutes, it expands so much that the fish dies, exploding outward. Whew. Whew. Well, a terrible way to die indeed. Irosomes. The divers were shocked to see such huge worm-like creatures in Tasmanian waters. They are actually gelatinous organisms called pyrosomes. They are very delicate creatures, which actually demand humans to just stay away from them. But I guess we humans never understand that. Even though divers make it sure to move around them without touching them, if you ask me, these pyrosomes just need to be left alone. The Sarcastic Fringe Head This intriguing little fish, found in California, got its fame by its peculiar mouth shape. The males, when trying to defend their territory, open their enormous lips to intimidate their rival. They have special jaws that fan out to the sides, and this makes them appear larger than they actually are. Well, as fascinating as they seem, they are one of the most aggressive and fearless fishes out there in the ocean, charging anything that approaches their burrows. The Stargazer among the many peculiar creatures floating in the ocean, apparently the scariest looking fish to ever be discovered is this stargazer. At times, you might find it swimming here and there like a normal fish, but other times, you will see this staring at you directly. Just make sure to not get scared. The position of the eyes is upward, and they're constantly looking upwards. That's how they got their name, I guess and it's the particular hunting habit for which they bury themselves in the ground and wait for a fish to get near that they get their name. Super quick, bro. Like, that was deadly. The Goblin Shark. A true monster of the underworld is what it looks like when you first see this goblin shark. An aggressive creature, a creepy beast, but these are just things which people have associated with the appearance of the shark. And in reality, they are slow and poor swimmers with bad eyesight. Termed as a living fossil, the goblin shark is about to be extinct. Unless, of course, the scientists find a way to reproduce them. An insane moment. We know that there are a lot of creatures lurking beneath the deep dark waters. It can be quite terrifying when a shark jumps on your boat, too. Like this one did in Long Island, New York. See what I mean? I knew, all that, and, I, and I was thinking, I never said it, but I was thinking in my head, yo. If they're jumping out of the water for like seals and different things like that, just grabbing them as they're jumping out of the water, what's stopping them from grabbing something and jumping onto your boat, bro? <laughs> onto your boat. How you getting that big boy off of there right there? Tell me. <laughs> it got stuck and, well, ended up dead. Yeah, <laughs> he jumped on the boat. Oh my gosh. A tuna. Yeah, you see them talking to him from inside of a window. Tornado. Okay, so, let's say you're diving in the water, just a normal day, and that's when you spot a huge tornado forming underwater. And not just a normal one, but a tuna tornado. A large group of tunas swimming together at high speed, creating a massive swirling column, which can only be described as a tornado. This is a rare event, which occurs only a couple of times a year, when the tunas are reproducing. It is enormous and dangerous. Magnapina Squid. On today's journey of discovering scary and rare deep sea creatures, let us introduce you to the Big Fin Squid. First discovered about 20 years ago, these creatures were hidden from humans for a long time and are so rare to spot that they have only been filmed for like 12 times. A giant shark statue. Apart from the creatures which are lying low in the ocean, one such thing was discovered by divers, a shark statue. And not just a shark, but a giant, creepy shark lying on the bed of the lake. The condition showed that it has been there for quite a long time. Well, we don't know who put it there, but it did freak the divers out when they first spotted it. <laughs> yeah, I bet, bro. Yeah, whoever did that is just super wrong for that. On shark. You see that? You swimming down there, bro. <laughs> you <t> Man, that's heart attack waiting to happen. A newly discovered species of the shark which literally glows in the dark. It was first described hundreds of years ago, but humans were not able to find it until 2014. It is not as big as the tiger shark or the great white, but it glows, and that's what's coolest about it. 
The shark lives in the twilight zone of the ocean, between 660 to 3300 feet deep. Hence, was able to stay hidden from the human eye for so long. The Bobbit Worm. To call it a weaponized worm would be better. I mean, it's literally loaded with venom and ready to inject it as soon as it comes in contact with something. A brainless worm is what scientists call it, and in addition to being mindless, it's blind too. But does that mean it's not dangerous? No. Is there anything one can like about this thing? Certainly not. Usually, they are seen to avoid humans, but that doesn't mean they always will. A nasty bite is what you get when you touch or grab it. Human Skeleton The ocean is not just scary, but mysterious as well. And there have been thousands of things found under the water, which made the world ask, how? Well, the same is the case with this case, where a 2,000-year-old human skeleton was found in a shipwreck underwater. The discovery came as quite a shock, because human bones don't usually last that long in water. DNA studies are going on to uncover more details about it. The Blob Creature The life of the ocean can take strange forms. For instance, this one creature. The identity remains unknown, and the scientists were seen scratching their heads over it. Whatever this mysterious thing is, it was recorded in the camera, twisting and curling continuously, thus making it hard to get the exact shape. The deep sea researchers said it closely resembled Deepstaria enigmatica, but they could not be sure as the creature appeared to be expanded to a large length. It's weird that we're still not sure, even after centuries of searching the oceans, how many different creatures are still unknown to us. A scary storm. It is not just the unidentified mysterious creatures in dark waters which might scare you. The ocean is scarier even when you're on a cruise ship. The big waves and the crazy sea is just as terrifying as a whale nearby or a shark circling your boat. The cruise ship was caught in the middle of a sea storm, but fortunately made it out of there safely. But there have been times when ships have crashed and drowned due to the storms, taking the lives of the humans on board. The Barracuda. A large... I know I seemed calm just then, but that was, that's probably... <laughs> I'm just, uh, Man. Man. No way. Like, some people can't stand for a boat just to rock a little. You saw what that was doing? No way. I, uh, every few seconds. Predatory ray-finned fish with a fearsome appearance and ferocious behavior is how they described a barracuda. Well, a barracuda ate Nemo's mother, so I guess they're not wrong to say that. However, the chances of a barracuda attacking a human are very low. They are not likely to do that, but this does not mean that they will never do it. The looks of the fish are enough to tell you to just stay away from it and try not to make any kind of contact if you ever come across one. Basking Shark a weird shark found worldwide in warm, temperate waters, a basking shark is one of its kind. They don't usually eat humans, but if you look at the size, it's easy enough for them to swallow one. They are passive animals. However, caution is to be taken if you come across a basking shark, because you might not want to risk being dragged into that big, large mouth, right? The Whale There is no way we are discussing the scariness of the ocean, and we don't mention whales! The largest, the mightiest, and no doubt the scariest of the creatures in the ocean. They can swallow fishes, sharks, and even humans. And trust me, it is no big deal for their size. From the humpback whales to the blue whales, no matter what others say, the whales are scariest among all. This picture is- When are we gonna learn to stop going out there in them little boats, kayaks, or whatever they call? Taken from the video, which a man recorded when he was taking a stroll on the beach after a hurricane, and he came across a dead mermaid. The body was stiff, and the hands and the face looked quite scary. Let us know what you think. Ex I think the hair was too, like, yeah, like, you could tell that was probably as some kind of statue or creating or something by an artist or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that was fake. Exploding sperm whale. And in the end, we cannot just exclude the whale which exploded with all of its organs bursting out. And even though quite normal, that is going to just be weird every time. Oh, 
Oh, really? They had to add the sound effects with it? The, they had to put the sound with it? This is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again. I was hungry. I was. I really was hungry. And hearing that well just, you know, just break down like that. Ah. Ah. It's, if, if any of y'all eating spaghetti at night, I need y'all to think about that as y'all take the spaghetti down. <laughs> as y'all eat that spaghetti, as it goes down, you, you spit in that fork. Just think about that last scene of that whale that was on the beach. And his whole body is just exploding from inside out. Yeah, think about that. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, y'all get at me in the comment section, man. If you like more videos or you want to see more videos like these, man, hit that like button on the way out. All right? It's your boy L, man. Y'all uh, stick around and stay tuned to next when I'm gone. Peace.